Over the course of the four seasons of the show You, we've seen Joe Goldberg do some horrific things. Things that should make you strongly dislike an individual. But with the way that the character has been written, it's always been able to keep people on his side. With manipulating, stalking, taking, and even killing not being enough to change our opinions of him. However, in the closing moments of the season finale in Season 4 Part 2, we saw Joe do something that was extremely different to what he usually did, and he took it to a new level of darkness that we'd never seen before. This was a moment that involved Nadia and Edward. I thought it was worth breaking this moment down and explaining why it's the worst thing that Joe Goldberg has ever done. So let's get into it. Here is why this is the worst thing that Joe Goldberg has ever done. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So let's start by talking about what this thing is that Joe did. Right at the end of the most recent season, we saw Joe approach Nadia after he saw her leaving his apartment in London. Nadia was looking for damning evidence in order to expose Joe as the actual Eat the Rich killer, due to her believing that there was something suspicious going on with Joe. And she was right to think that. As he approached her, he took her phone, deleted the photos of the evidence that she found, and then proceeded to back her into a corner, intimidating her and saying how she wasn't going to be saying anything about the photos and the evidence that she found. This was instantly a sight to Joe that we'd never seen before. With regards to the younger people that usually appear in the show, they are the Ellie and Paco type characters, the characters that Joe feels for, empathizes with, and draws up a connection with. Nadia, despite being a little bit older than what Ellie was and him being kind to her like we did see earlier on in the season, we saw him intimidating her instead. It just felt so wrong and extremely uncomfortable seeing him approach Nadia like that and backing her into a corner into a vulnerable state. The fear in her eyes was present and you couldn't help but feel as though she looked extremely out of her depth. As a way of keeping her quiet and ensuring that nobody would believe her if she did eventually decide to start talking, he handed a weapon over to Nadia that he had just used, a weapon that tied her to the crime scene of Edward, the innocent student who wanted to help Nadia because he cared about her. Joe did this because he wanted to get her fingerprints on it so that she'd end up being charged with the murder of Edward, and ultimately be locked up in a prison for an extremely long time, whilst also changing the mindset that people had of her, meaning that they would never believe her for a second. Two awful things that he did to innocent people in the space of a couple of minutes in order to keep himself safe and protected. The killing of Edward and the framing of Nadia. A sight to Joe that we'd never seen before. But now, why is this the worst thing that Joe has ever done? So Joe has done a lot of terrible things over the years, including the killing of people, stalking, manipulating, and framing. But this one hit differently for a couple of different reasons. When we look at the people that Joe has killed over the years, they've all been done for a variety of different reasons. But in his mind, reasons that he felt compelled to do. He's killed in the name of love, like we saw with Beck, Love, Benji, Ryan, and even his father. He does these type of killings so he's able to be with the people that he loves most, to protect them, and to allow him to get closer to them without any blockers or barriers, right up until he realizes that they don't want to be with him. He's also killed out of empathy before, as we saw with the killing of Ron when he was being abusive towards Paco and Paco's mother, and also when he killed Simon in Season 4, because he believed that Simon was doing the wrong thing in exploiting these less fortunate artists after once being in a less fortunate position, and understanding that they're being taken advantage of. So with these killings, as bad as it sounds, there was a motive there that meant that he could justify his actions, and he was almost doing it because he was working to get closer to something else. He had an endgame, so to speak. What we saw him do to Nadia and Edward was completely different. This was Joe flexing the newfound power and wealth that he had by being in a relationship with Kate, and utilizing it in order to keep their voices quiet. Nadia wanted to seek justice on Joe and get him punished for the horrendous crimes that he had done, Something that we've even seen Joe want to do in the past with the likes of Henderson. But instead, he made this innocent young person who at one point looked up to him and he had a semi-decent connection with end up spending the rest of her life in prison. You could argue that the killing that Joe committed on Gemma was the closest time that Joe had done something like this, as he wanted to ensure that Gemma stopped alluding to the fact that people had been dying since Joe showed up. But even then, there was no sense of manipulation, framing, or exploiting. He didn't have the power for the mind games and the framing at that point, so he did what he did best. Another similarity to what we saw occur was in Season 1 of the show when he did the framing of Dr. Nicky, framing him for the murder of Beck. 
But even then, it didn't have the weight and emotional impact of what we saw in the scene that unfolded with Nadia, a young girl who had done nothing wrong in her life, and only wanted to take Joe down because she saw just how dangerous he was, and she didn't want anybody else to find themselves in Marion's position when she first stumbled across her locked in the cage. The emotion that was on her face when Joe appeared from around the corner showed that she was truly out of her depth and that she was extremely fearful of the life that she was going to be spending behind bars for the crime that she didn't even commit. And then with Edward, Edward was the most innocent person that Joe has ever killed. He was killed for no reason other than being a pawn in a game that he was playing. For him, it was simply a wrong place, wrong time moment. And the love that he had for Nadia and the assisting and the snooping around was what meant that he met his demise. There was no reason for him to die, other than the fact that by doing so, Joe would get leverage on Nadia and then be able to pin it all on her, showing that he was now prepared to kill in broad daylight, take victims that had truly done nothing wrong to him or had no real strong connection with, something which we've never seen in the show before, and it meant that Joe's dark side was truly at the forefront of the character. Killing Edward the way that he did and framing an innocent young girl like Nadia showed us that Joe is definitely a changed person. He left Nadia sitting in a pool of her boyfriend's blood and allowed her to take the rap for his murder. It's extremely dark, twisted, and haunting to witness. He doesn't kill for passion, empathy, love, or revenge anymore. He kills because he wants to kill, and he knows that he can get away with it. It's a dangerous mindset that we've left Joe in, and with him doing this, it means that Joe could quite literally do anything moving forward. There are no longer any limits for the character, the hero who helped Marion escape and go off to be reunited with her daughter didn't get the happy ending that she truly deserved. I wish that she had have stopped snooping around, but she cared too much about the greater good and preventing Joe from harming another individual. She was too good, so it's a shame that she met the demise that she did. So, there you have it. Why this is the worst thing that Joe Goldberg has ever done. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Do you think it's the worst thing that Joe has done? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.